Hello and welcome to Collective Gifts. Today is Tuesday and it's time for our Tuesday toast. Yay! <laughs> I'm Noella and this is my sister Rachel. Hello, hello everyone. Today's Tuesday toast is, are you willing? And think about it, are you willing? You know, in life we tend to get comfortable and complacent where we're at, yet we may wonder or kind of complain about how things are not the way that you want you know you want things to be a particular way and it's not meeting your expectations and maybe even um, you'll settle into putting up with certain things just because it's easier oh yeah <laughs> and you know getting that change it requires work you know you have to change do something different in order to get that change and that sometimes takes some perseverance and it takes a lot more work to get out of your comfort zone. So it's just so much easier just to stay where you're at, right? Mm -hmm. And so with that said, sometimes we go forth in the new year. And we always think, oh, yes, it's a new year, new you. And I'm going to go forth and do these things and make these changes and just get with that excitement and that motivation. But it doesn't do anything. You know, it fizzles. And so that's the same thing with um, going forth in life where maybe God's telling you to prune some relationships or do some pruning in your life where you can't do certain behaviors anymore. In the past, it was okay, but when God's taking you to another level, it's not acceptable anymore. You're going to have to level up and do things differently. Mm -hmm. And just like with our family fast, we're covering Pona, which is righteousness. You know, we're going to have to live um, righteously and make those changes to align up with God's righteousness. And so going forth with that, then, you know, we may have to set boundaries, boundaries with people, with loved ones or um, friends. And also um, maybe God's telling you to start something new, do a new endeavor. Maybe it's starting a business, going to um, take a class whatever it is, those things sound great in your head. And you can affirm, oh yeah, I can do that. But that step forward, it takes work. It takes making an effort. And so God's asking you today, you know, are you willing? Are you willing to make the effort to go forth in what he's telling you to do? Are you willing to go forth in making changes? Are you willing, you know, to prune a relationship? Are you willing to take you know, whatever steps necessary so that you can get out of where you're currently at and you'll no longer feel stuck and be able to move forward. If you think about it, why are you feeling stuck? It's because you're not doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> and so it takes work to um, go forth in that change. It takes work, right, to go forth to pursue that dream or that calling that God has for your life. And when you go forth in, in um, taking that change, you know, that action is creating some momentum, right? It's breaking free, breaking forth so you can progress onward. And each step that you make, it all adds up into moving forward. And so, you know, we encourage you to go forth and ask yourself, are you willing? You know, are you willing and are you going to go forth and say, this is the day, the time is now to go forth in it? And so if you're willing, it's like you're humble, humbling yourself and opening up yourself to, you know, whatever God has told you to do and, you know, willing to take that direction and be humble enough to, to just like not get all like, oh, I don't need to do that. And, you know, just, just go forth in that humbleness. And you also like yield to, you know, whatever it is that God wants you to do. You know, you are open for God to work in you, through you and with you, you know, that, that brings change. You can't stay the same if God is working in you because, you know, he's faithful to complete the work that he has started. But if on the other hand that you're unwilling, that means that you're stubborn and you're like wrestling with God. Like you don't want to bring about that change. You just kind of like it where, well, not necessarily like it, but, you know, just are comfortable where you are. And, you know, you don't want to budge. You don't want to move. You just like, you know, you don't want to go up to that higher level and just being just so stubborn about it. And so like in the scripture, uh, Ephesians 4 from verse 22 to 24, this is the Amplified. It says that regarding your previous way of life, you put off your old self, completely discard your former nature, which is being corrupted through deceitful desires and be continually renewed in the spirit of your mind having fresh, untarnished mental and spiritual attitude and put on the new self, the regenerated and renewed nature created in God's image, 
godlike in the righteousness and holiness of the truth, living in a way that expresses to God your gratitude for your salvation. So you see that it says gratitude for your salvation. That's like going forth, you know, being so thankful and, and humble in just with what God is doing in you. God is moving us forward. We're all growing. We're all entering to another level. It's not just for us or leaders at your church or for certain people. It's for all of us. Yes. He wants us all to grow and enter into that next level. And so if we're experiencing, you know, these obstacles, complications, or feeling stagnant, it's because we're not doing anything. And God is ready and willing to do something. He's just waiting on us. He's waiting on you to go forth and do something. Mm -hmm. So are you willing and if we're going forth in that next level, then we're no longer babies anymore, yeah. right? And so it always reminds me of 1 Corinthians 13, 11, where it talks about that. You know, when you were a child, right? You, you talked like a child, you thought like a child, you reasoned like a child. But then when you became an adult, you put away those childish things behind you. Just like what the scripture Noel was talking about in Ephesians, you're putting away your old self and you're entering into a new, new you that created being in you in Christ where you're not going to do things the old way. You're going to go forth in doing things in a better way, a more excellent way. And so our question for you today is, are you willing? And if you're willing, let's go forth and take a step forth. You know, it, it doesn't take a big leap. You can if you want to. Even baby steps, something, doing anything is going forth to create that change. Yes. And so we encourage you to go forth and, and say, yes, Lord, I am willing. And go forth in taking that step forward into that change. And so today we have our toast. We have a Korean honey citron tea. So if you have your drink, let's raise our glass and we will toast to making a change. And we thank God that we are no longer our old um, man, our old ways, selfish beings. We are no longer childish. We are an adult and that we go forth in being spiritually mature and going forth in faith. And we thank you, Lord, for helping us to go forth in making that yes. change. Hallelujah. Going forth in that next level. L'chaim to life. To life. It's always like comforting that citron tea because it's sweet and switch your citrusy. And it reminds me of my mommy. <laughs> I know. That was her favorite. <laughs> yeah. This brand is her favorite tea. And so anyways, thank you all for joining us. We love and appreciate you. So are you willing? Yes, you yes. are. So you can go do it. forth in making that change. God bless you. And we will see you again soon. And also be sure to check out our Family Fast videos if you haven't. We have a playlist created for uh, Living Pono for this year. So check it out. God bless you again, and we'll see you soon. Shaloha. Shaloha.